Tiki Tapu, the tactical game of Totem Domination. Winner of the Mensa Select. Tiki Tapu, tactical game of Totem Domination. Tiki Tapu. Tiki Tapu! Tiki Tapu! Two to four players, 20 minutes or less. Ages 10 and up. TK Topple, Tactical Game of Totem Domination. Welcome to Tiki Island, home to nine colorful carvings, all competing to be the top. Polynesian Idol, in his fast paced strategy game, trying to maneuver your secret tikis to the top of the line by playing the right combination of action cards. Use a tiki up card to move tikis ahead in line. Tiki Topple sends some opponents' tikis tumbling to the back of the pack. But watch out for the sneaky tiki toast cards, which knock your tikis off the board. Hey, score the most points and call yourself the tiki master. Has cards. Has nine custom pieces. And more. We got an unboxing for you today. Okay. So we have these nine tikis here. And we got one, two, three, four, give a break. Pawns. Pawns. Then we got the rules. Then we got the board. Then we got the cards. Also nice. Now, basically, we don't need no stinking rules, do we? Because I kind of know how to play it. I'm going to show y'all how to play it after I unbox it. Oh my gosh, the rules. But just for a little overviewing thing here, I'm also kind of showing y'all the rules. And for my Spanish friends, they got the rules in Spanish. Spanish. Hola, amigos. Like. Press the like -a button, comment, and subscribe. So well, here's the board. Now, you start here, whoever gets the 35 points first wins. Basically, you just randomly put these uh, tikis on here. It doesn't matter. They're random. Random. Alright, they're random. Alright, then you get um, one of these cards belongs to you. Let's look at them. You shuffle this deck, which are the tiki decks. And you see how each one has a first place, second place, and a third place, and you get those points based on that. What you want by the time all these cards are done is your tiki's, in this case, blue, that one, that one, and that one, which is already. You want these to be as close to their ranks of these three, because only these three make points. Uh, of the game. Uh, and these are randomly shuffled, so each player gets one of these. One of these random cards they get. And you don't let anybody know what your three are. <coughs> because you want to get the points. So you don't want other people to know because they'll try to mess you up. Now these cards uh, let you do different things. <clears throat> this one lets you remove the bottom most tiki. So remove means and take away from the game. Remove. <clears throat> now this one you can move any tiki to the bottom. So say I want to move this one. I'll move it to the bottom for example. This one's tiki up. I can move one tiki up. Say I want this one moved up. For example. 
like that. Say I want this one moved up. Example, like that. That's what that one is. This one moves the tiki up two spaces. So say I wanted this one moved up two spaces, I would do that. Okay, this one moves the tiki up three spaces. Now each card, sets of cards are color coded. And why are each set of cards color coded? Because those are the cards you get for every round. So say I wanted to move this one up three spaces, I'd move him up three spaces. Now once you run out of cards, theoretically, four of these will be gone because there's once all players use their cards up we didn't see who has which three are at the top which could be any three and um those three make points based on what these cards are in the different people's hands it's possible nobody can make points and it's also possible that Everybody could make points. The minimum you can make is two, while the maximum you can make is all three, which would be nine to eleven, sixteen points. So then your pawns would move up how many points you made until, of course, you got to thirty-five, and the first player to get to thirty-five wins, and that's take your top. So. Remember, God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. Jesus loves you. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Everybody have a great day. Later. Play some Tiki Topple today. It's fun, simple, fast, easy. Oh, and if no one makes it to 35 on the first round, you continue playing another round, and you basically you mix these up again and again and again, and you can have one player, the winner, mix them up, or you could go blindfold and put them on the board. Or you can go one player puts one on the board and the next player and the next player and the next player and so on and so forth. So I'm not sure why they have these different symbols on the bottom, but some have shells. Some have fish, and some have stars, and I guess that's for some kind of decoration or advanced game or whatever, but I'm not sure why they do that. But uh, that's pretty much the game. Tiki Topple. Also, if you notice, each one of these tikis has a name. That one's Ippo. Hookapia. Kapu, Willy Wilka, Nani, Hoo Ha, Lokahame, Lokaha, Arka Rama, and Nui. Those are the names of the tikis. Now, there's one of the Ten Commandments in the Bible that says, Thou shalt not worship graven idols. A tiki is actually a graven idol, and it's an idol to a false god. And um, while this game is fun, and it has a great theme, and... Uh, everything you shouldn't be worshiping idols you shouldn't be worshiping in tikis you shouldn't be worshiping anything other than god the heavenly father who sent his son to die on the cross for our sins <clears throat> jesus christ you should make jesus christ your lord and worship jesus christ our god So, um, without further ado, later guys and gals, have a great day. Um, bye. Don't worship idols, worship God.